Sorry, Carlos, I missed your question, but I stepped away and then uh, the bell kind of rang, rung here, but I'll do a quick video uh, real quick. I might have kids coming in while I'm doing this and then I'll, I'll shoot it out to you. So um, find the area in the first quadrant between the curve y equals the square root of 16 minus x squared in the x-axis. Um, the first thing to recognize is that the formula, so if you guys did this last year, the formula for a circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to the radius squared. So if we were to like kind of resolve this, um, we would get a, a different looking formula. Like if I took this and solved it for y, so if I subtract x squared from both sides, so again, this is a circle, uh, and I got y squared is equal to the radius squared minus x squared. And then to solve this even further for y, if I square rooted both sides, I would get, and I'll sneak this over on the left side, y is equal to plus or minus the square root of r, your radius squared minus x squared. So first off, if we look at the similarities here between this function and this one that I just kind of underlined, they're pretty close except for two things. One thing is that you don't have the plus or minus sign, which means you don't have both halves of the circle. You only have the top half because we only see the positive one, not the negative one. Um, if it was a plus or minus, then it would be a full circle going around. So this thing is actually a semicircle. The other thing to take away from this is the 16 is 4 squared. So that means that our radius here is 4. So all you're looking for for this problem is a circle of radius 4 that's centered at 0, 0. It doesn't really matter actually where it's centered. But if this circle has a radius of 4 and it's a half circle, then all we're going to do is the formula for the area of a circle, which is pi times our radius squared. So in this case, we've got pi times 4 squared, so that's 16 pi. Now that would be for a full circle. So if I want to find the area of the half circle, I just have to divide this by, I'm sorry, this is actually going to be, it's just in the first quadrant. So we actually have to divide this by 4 because I don't want this piece in the second quadrant. I only want this part. So if we divide that by 4, we're going to get 4 pi. Okay, so um, shoot me a message if this made sense, and uh, I'll get back to you. Sorry, Braley, I'm making a video here for a student.